leading up to the finance ministers meeting, we had, you know, we've been counting on the Saskatchewan government to show really strong leadership. They had been one of the few provinces that were a strong no. Uh, and so we were counting on that and we were frustrated and, and frankly surprised that they did change their position, uh, which left a lot of our members, you know, shaking their head of, of, of why we signed on to a mandatory CPP. Yeah, quite right. There were the two big surprises. One, that Saskatchewan caved and ultimately voted to support CPP expansion, a payroll tax that they had spoken, I think, quite negatively about in the lead up to the meeting. Right. And secondly, the other surprise was the complete cancellation, uh, not just Saskatchewan is choosing to do this, but all governments choosing to basically eliminate the consultation period that, that really had been promised. Mm -hmm. They had said that they might, you know, we weren't shocked that there was a tentative deal that was put together at this June meeting. But we were very surprised that they had skipped a step and had basically abandoned the plan to consult with Canadians with a further meeting in December of finance ministers where we expected the decision to be made. So the timing of that, uh, the timing of the process, I have to tell you, uh, was shortened, basically making it extremely challenging for Canadians to, uh, to, to express their views and for governments even to analyze the cost of this. Because quite apart from the, bit, the, the cost that this is going to start to, to build for Canadian workers and for Canadian employers, governments are also going to have to dig deep on this front. Not only are they going to forego, forego more revenue because of these new tax, uh, tax reductions that they're, they're timing as part of it for low income earners, but on top of that, they're going to have to find CPP, new CPP dollars for all civil servants. All of the money that is going to be coming out of the province, going to Ottawa, uh, that's money that's no longer going to be moving its way through local businesses uh, and through tax revenue and other channels. So there's a big economic impact assessment that we think is a missing step out of all of this. And to date, we've not been able to determine that there's any government that has studied the deal to be able to make a decision as to whether or not the costs out, are, are outweigh the potential benefits. And that's why we'll be asking um, all governments to release that economic impact analysis and if they haven't done it they need, need to be doing that's it right. and releasing that and we'll be surveying our members in the next week to get um, their perspective so we can share um, you know share their their serious concerns with uh, with the governments.